This is something I've wanted to do for a long time. I've climbed a lot of mountains, mostly in the lower 48, done Mount Rainier, I've done the Grand Teton many times. My boys, I have a 22-year-old son and a 15-year-old son, they both have done the Grand Teton with me. So Killy was first on my list outside the U.S. The challenge with it is altitude. You really need to be in good shape. The, there's not much you can do except train cardio. Yvonne and I do a lot of cardio. I do a lot of cardio on my own. I, I do training in my stairwell of my apartment building. I go up and down the stairs with the boys, with our backpacks, and wearing our clunky hiking boots. The key to doing stairs is going down. Uh, you use these muscles that if they aren't properly trained, and when you go down Kilimanjaro, you won't be able to walk. In fact, when you climb Kilimanjaro, they use a term called pole pole, which is slow, slow in Swahili. So the object to get to the top is to go slow, but down here you want to go fast uh, because then everything up there feels a little easier. First, you have to understand, uh, kids don't like hiking. We, we spend a lot of time out in Jackson Hole in the summertime. And uh, so one of the ways I got the boys to hike was to climb mountains out there. And uh, my brothers climbed with us quite a bit too. So, uh, so it's really just being together. It's the experience. Sharing tents is a lot of fun. Cooking and eating together. And I mean, I, I just never get that kind of time in a typical you know, work week with the boys. It's gonna be great. The first mountain I started with was uh, Rendezvous. And then uh, a few years later, I climbed the Grand Teton. Which was, uh, which was something I've always wanted to do, something my dad's done many times, probably around 20 or something. I mean, just because I climbed a mountain doesn't mean I can do anything, but it'll definitely give me some confidence. My name is uh, Yvon Bignier, and um, it's uh, French, so in case you were wondering. Uh, I've been training with David for uh, 10 years now, and. Um, his latest venture now is to climb uh, Mount Kilimanjaro, so we are going to train for that. And uh, so that will involve a little more leg work, a little more cardio work. It's going to be, it's, it's going to get tougher. And he'll be my number seven, you know, who climbed it uh, with uh, success. 